All right, so today is going to be day one with starting to teach Zoe a little tracking. I've never done it before. I've watched a couple of videos. Uh, we are going to make a box with our feet here that we are going to come uh, train Zoe in here in just a second. So the box is supposed to be, I believe, a little bit, maybe one and a half times the size of her so that she can be all the way in it and it needs to be all the way camped down. All right, so we're gonna make our box. That looks big enough. So it's about four of my feet. I'm gonna put a flag at each end. It's a pretty decent sized box actually. I might have went too big, I'm not sure. So now, we've made our box and we want to stamp everything down in the box really good. So that everything in the box is tamped down and smells like feet. Zoe is tethered right over there. She's not even paying attention. She's not worried about what I'm doing. So I want to tamp down that whole box. I've got Zoe's breakfast, okay? And as we tamp down this box, we're gonna put her breakfast in the box. As I'm doing this, I feel like maybe the box is a little too big, but that's okay. I feel like we wanna make a box that is big enough that she can tell when she's inside it and when she's outside it, right? So we want to make sure that we've gotten everything in here tamped down and a good smell on it. I would like, honestly, my grass to be a little thicker for this, but we're going to work with what we got. So we're going to tamp down our box. That ought to be good. And we want to make sure that all of the food that we have stays inside the box, okay? So this should paint a pretty clear picture of being inside the box, you get food. Outside the box, you don't. And so you want to have that food all the way around in here, but nowhere outside of the box. All right, so we should have our box all set up. I'm gonna jump out of the box, go grab Zoe and release her into it. So we're gonna bring Zoe over here. Zoe, sit, stay. I'm gonna jump back into the, uh-uh, uh-uh. Now that, uh -uh, stay. now that I'm in the box, I'll invite her in. And I want to be sure not to leave the box. I don't want to get my shoes outside of it. Zoe, okay. And so the idea here is that as she gets out of the box, she'll smell no more food and turn back in. Inside the box is the smell of shoes and the tamped down grass. And so that will eventually be her indicator. Now we want her to sniff and snuffle inside the box, goes outside the box, there's no more food, comes back inside the box, okay? So, so that's gonna be what we do on day one. And we're gonna see, we're gonna just watch for a minute and see if we can't get that spot where she goes outside the box and then turns to come back in. Oh good, you can even see on the video the difference in the grass where inside the box and outside the box. And this is Zoe's whole breakfast, so 
she's gonna spend a good amount of time in here, but notice she is having to sniff out all of the kibbles. And when she brings the sniff in her nose, it's gonna smell like shoes and people. And when she goes outside the box, it's probably not gonna smell like that anymore. So um, I have had some people say that we should use hot dogs so it sits on top of the grass, but Zoe is really food driven. And so she's gonna hunt down into that grass so I don't see too much of a problem with it. We're probably gonna do it like this for about five days where she just gets just like this to get it set up that when she goes into the box, she should get the food. Um, and then we'll work on more things after that. So I'm gonna keep this run to see if as she is right on the edge of the box there, I would like to see her leave the box to look for food and then to come back into the box. To, so that's the lesson where um, the food is with the smell of the feet and the tamped down grass. And so she leaves the box, she may find that the um, outside doesn't smell like shoes and the grass isn't tamped down. So she should turn around and come back into the box. Eventually, as we move through this, the more she sniffs in the box, I will actually add food to the box. And then the more we, um, there she came outside and went back in. Uh, and then eventually when we do it, she'll have to smell the uh, box before the food comes in. So. I understand the concept pretty well here from doing box work. It seems to be very similar. Um, but we'll have to see. I've never done this before, and I only watched a couple of YouTube videos, so I am rolling on my dog training knowledge to help me understand and get through this. Um, yeah. So that's where we're at. We'll be out here doing this every day going into the future um, to try and see if we can't learn how to teach some... Um, step-by-step -step tracking, some sports style tracking. And that's enough for today. We're just gonna let her eat the food until she decides that she's done. And then we'll move on to uh, the next dog and the next day. So I'll keep you updated. And um, this will be a nice little thing that we see if we can learn how to do. Have a great day, y'all.